You ain't bout it, you ain't bout it, you ain't kick on the mic. You ain't bout it, you ain't bout it, you ain't kick on the mic. You can go and subscribe, cause I be on it right. You ain't bout it, you ain't bout it, you ain't kick on the mic. Ryan Poles crushed the 2024 NFL Draft. Hey, what's going on, Bears fans? Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Keek on the Mic, the podcast all about the Chicago Bears. As always, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification to catch all Bears content right here on the podcast. Bears fans, what a weekend to be a Chicago Bears fan. During the draft, they got their franchise quarterback, future wide receiver one, a quality O-line starter, a generational punter, and a talented starting edge. And personally, if the coaches are able to develop these p players properly, I feel like this is a generational haul for Ryan Poles and the Chicago Bears. So on today's episode of Keek on the Mic, I'm going to go through each draft pick and give my grade for each and every one of them. And as always, as I'm giving my individual, individual grades for Ryan Poles and Chicago Bears draft class, let me know how you think Ryan Poles and Chicago Bears did in the 2024 NFL Draft. So let's go ahead and start off with quarterback Caleb Williams. I don't feel like I have to say a lot about quarterback Caleb Williams. This is the obvious pick for Ryan Poles and the Chicago Bears. Uh, and I think Ryan Poles did, did enough during his process to know that this is the guy that he wanted. He had the conviction. He loved the person. He loved the talent Caleb Williams was. I think it was the perfect situation for Caleb Williams to come into. He's coming into DJ Moore, Keenan Allen, a really good coaching staff, a really good defense, an improving offensive line. This is a really good situation for Caleb Williams. But when you look at quarterback Caleb Williams, he is an outstanding player and even a better person off the field as well. He has elite arm talent ready for the National Football League. He is a big-time playmaker. He's a big-time competitor. He is the perfect fit for the Chicago Bears, and he has the perfect personality for the city of Chicago as well. And to me, this is an obvious A-plus for the pick of quarterback Caleb Williams. Then with pick number nine, Ryan Poles gives Caleb Williams a running mate in wide receiver Rome Adunze out of Washington. And to me, this is another A+. plus. When I look at a guy like Rome Adunze, he is a really good person um, and even a better football player on the field. He is going to fit in perfectly with the weapons the Chicago Bears offense already has. Once again, Rome Adunze is coming into a very good situation. He has the capability to be the future wide receiver one for the Chicago Bears offense. But for now, he is going to be the wide receiver three for the Chicago Bears offense. He gets to sit and learn behind guys like DJ Moore and Keenan Allen. What a time to be a Chicago Bears fan because I feel bad for opposing defenses because I have no idea how they expect to cover guys like DJ Moore, Keenan Allen, and Roma Dunze on one offense. And we're not even talking about DeAndre Swift, Cole Komet, and Gerald Everett to go along with our three receivers that we have on the Chicago Bears offense. This pick is an obvious A+. Plus. Ryan Poles and the Chicago Bears hit it out of the park in round one with Caleb Williams and Roma Dunze. And I'm really looking forward to what those two guys bring to the Chicago Bears offense. Then in round three, Bears fans, Ryan Poles and the Chicago Bears selected offensive tackle Karan Amadije out of Yale. And this is a big time offensive tackle with a really high ceiling. He has all the tools and capabilities to be a future starter on the Chicago Bears offensive line. He stands at six foot five. 326 pounds. And to me, this pick was really great value for the Chicago Bears. His big board rank was number 57 and the Chicago Bears were able to get him at pick number 75. To me, that is an absolute steal for Ryan Poles and the Chicago Bears. Once again, Karan has all the tools to develop into a quality starter for the Chicago Bears offensive line. He is good in pass protection the last two years at left tackle while playing at Yale. He has no sacks on 411 pass blocking snaps. I love his length and hand usage as well. I believe he will continue to get bigger and more explosive. He can also play guard and tackle, so his position versatility is also a plus for him as well for the Chicago Bears offensive line. A huge plus is that he's also a hometown kid. He, he grew up in the Chicago area. He went to Hinsdale Central High School, and he actually grew up a Bears fan as well. That's obviously a plus when you have guys that want to be Chicago Bears, fit the culture, and understand what it means to be a Chicago Bear as, a, as well. I think this year will be all about development for Karan, but in year two, I personally believe that he will push Braxton Jones to be the starting left tackle for the Chicago Bears offensive line. So the overall grade I give for Karan Amadije is a solid B+. This is a guy with a high ceiling, and if he's developed the right way, 
I think he's going to have a very successful career in Chicago, being the future left tackle starter for the Chicago Bears offensive line. Moving on to round four, Bears fans, Ryan Poles and the Chicago Bears shocked the 2024 NFL draft by selecting punter Tory Taylor out of Iowa. He stands at six foot four, 231 pounds. And before I move any further, Punters are weapons as well. And in the great words of sketch, special teams, special plays, special players. This guy is going to be huge for the Chicago Bears special teams moving forward. And I know some Bears fans were upset about us using a fourth round pick on a punter, which in some instances was understandable at the time. But Taylor is the greatest punting prospect that we have seen in a very long time. He was a weapon at Iowa and was huge for Iowa special teams as well. He had 126 punts inside the 20-yard line, 103 punts of 50-plus yards. He had an FBS record of most punt yards, which is 4,479 yards. Also had an FBS record of highest career average with 46.3. Taylor is a major a major upgrade over a very inconsistent Trent and Gill and will be absolutely huge, huge Bears fans in flipping field position for the Chicago Bears organization. So I know a lot of people didn't love the, the pick of punter Tory Taylor, but I think this is going to be a huge investment down the road. And once again, punters are weapons too. And special teams is just as important to winning football games when you have ambitions to winning championships in the long-term future. So I give the pick of Tory Taylor a solid B for Ryan Poles and the Chicago Bears. Now moving on to Ryan Poles and the Chicago Bears' final draft pick and edge rusher Austin Booker out of Kansas. The Bears actually traded a 2025th fourth-round pick to get back into the fifth round to land Booker. He has six foot six. 245 pounds and I personally really like Booker ceiling as a player he didn't play too much in college only 505 career snaps while playing at Kansas but he produced a whole bunch in a limited playing time he had eight sacks and 12 tackles for loss in 2023 and also has the ability to win in a variety of different ways which is a huge reason why the Chicago Bears really love a guy like Booker and the ceiling he has as a player what he can possibly bring to the Chicago Bears defensive line in the near future. He can beat you with speed outside. He's able to come underneath as well. And he can also beat you with power. So once again, he can beat you in a variety of different ways. He has the ability to constantly be in the backfield and disrupt the quarterback. And that's what you want to see. So obviously when you look at the sack numbers, they're not too high, right? You only had eight sacks, which is still a really good number, but it wasn't about the sacks. It was about his ability to constantly be in the backfield and constantly disrupt the quarterback. So if this guy's developed properly, he can be an absolute problem amongst the Chicago Bears defensive line. In 2023, he notched 38 pressures and had a pass rush win rate of 14.8%. So once again, if he's developed properly, maybe gets a little bit stronger. I think him and Montez Sweat will be a deadly duo for the Chicago Bears defensive line, really terrorizing opposing quarterbacks in the National Football League for years to come. Oh, and Bears fans, one more thing about Austin Booker. I would just want to show you guys this quick little clip of Austin Booker just absolutely dominating Green Bay Packers first round off the tackle Jordan Morgan in senior bowl practices. That is a beautiful sight to see. And that is a sight that Green Bay Packers fans are going to get used to when Austin Booker does that to Jordan Morgan when they play each other twice a year. Just want to show you guys that little clip. So overall, I give the grade for Austin Booker a solid B+. Overall, Bears fans, I was really pleased on what Ryan Poles and the Chicago Bears were able to accomplish. They were really able to address a lot of different needs on this football team. Obviously, you got your, your franchise quarterback. you got your future wide receiver one in Roma Dunze. you got a generational punter in Torrey Taylor. You're able to get an edge rusher in Austin Booker that will be good down the line for the Chicago Bears defensive line. And then you got a high ceiling off of the tackle in Karan Amadije, a hometown kid that wants to be a Chicago Bear and is hungry to see the Chicago Bears be great. Overall, the Chicago Bears are very, very close to being a very good football team. I expect a lot of big things from the Chicago Bears football team. I expect Caleb Williams and Roma Dunze to come in right away and elevate this Chicago Bears offense to be able to do great things. This is the most excited I've been to watch a Chicago Bears football team play in a very, very long time. Bears fans, Ryan Poles and the scouting staff have done an incredible job 
I'm finding the best talent possible to improve this Chicago Bears organization. Now it's time for the coaches um, to develop these players properly um, and make them the best version of themselves that they can be to really get the most out of them so we can start pushing, hopefully, um, for a Super Bowl championship. Because, you know, the city of Chicago is starved to watch the Chicago Bears be good again. We are starved to finally have a champion in Chicago. And Ryan Poles um, really has this team on the right track. I'm starting with Caleb Williams. Really excited to watch all these guys play. My overall grade for all the draft picks is a solid A. I feel like Ryan Poles and Chicago Bears absolutely crushed this draft. And once again, if these players are developed properly, and I feel like Ryan Poles, Matt Ufus have brought in the right coaches to do that, this is a generational draft class for the Chicago Bears, one that will alter this Chicago Bears organization to hopefully long, long-term success. So overall, Bears fans, before I let you guys go, let me ask you guys this. What overall grade do you give Ryan Poles and the Chicago Bears 2024 draft class? Let me know down below in the comment section. But as always, make sure you continue to hit that subscribe button and the notification to catch all Bears content right here on the podcast. Make sure you follow me on all my social media platforms and make sure you share this episode of Kick on the Mic with every single Bears fan that you know. But other than that, be back for our all new Bears podcast right here on Kick on the Mic. Thanks, guys. And as always, bear down. You've been listening to Kick on the Mic. A podcast all about the Chicago Bears. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification to catch all Bears content right here on the podcast. Thanks, guys, and bear down.